Man, you guys are still here? Ooh, let's get this over with. Man, what is going on, guys? Uh, Jason Vegas here for whew, for the uh, for the Craig Kilborn edition of the Jason Vegas show, the the late late Jason Vegas show. Uh, what an exciting time to be a UCF fan. Hey, uh, hmm. A 51-23 win after an hour and seven minute rain delay for our Knights tonight. Man, what an impressive, impressive game uh, by our offense, uh, who Coach Frost had said this week had not played a complete game. And uh, tonight, not only did they play a complete, not 60 minutes, but... Uh, I guess 44 minutes and 56 seconds of a football where we didn't punt. One field goal, the rest touchdowns. Our quarterback throws five touchdowns. Traquan caught three, ran for one. Uh, Taj runs for one. Defense did what they had to do tonight, guys. I know some of y'all thought they were a little weak, but maybe they were just tired. You know, I mean... Offense comes out and scores quick, twice, and uh, it's thirteen nothing before anything even, you know, before you ESPN News even showing the game. Like I'm sitting here listening to Mark Daniels and it's thirteen to nothing, and I'm still watching the seventh overtime of Buffalo and Western Michigan action. Uh, man, just an impressive, impressive outing. Uh, three quarters of football for our guys tonight. Uh, just as well they didn't play the fourth quarter. We were going to put uh, some backups in, Coach Coach said. So really it's just as well. Uh, 51-23. Get out of Cincinnati. 4-0. Uh, first time since 1988. Going back to when Darren Slack was pulling the trigger. And uh, Coach Becton was still Sean Becton, wide receiver, number four. Uh, so we're, we're talking... <laughs> Way back, Coach, if you're watching. I don't know if you watch my show or not, but that's uh, that's pretty amazing for you, I'm sure, to look back and think about those times when you guys were 4-0 and and think it's been that long. Um, just real impressed, real impressed by the offense tonight. Uh, no chinks in the armor. Drove up and down the field at will. Uh, Milton, we're just watching him grow up. Uh, it's, it's amazing to watch a young quarterback uh, come of age, and uh, he's making smart decisions. He's not putting us in danger of turning the ball over, which was a lot of our gripe about him last season. Uh, just doing an amazing job. Uh, Trey Quan's just a big play receiver, making big plays for us back to back. Uh, he's going to be playing on Sundays, I think, in a couple years. Hopefully, he stays with us through his senior year. Uh, Wow, real impressed. Uh, the day of college football today. Uh, Florida State and Miami play a beauty. Uh, Florida State goes down there at the last second. And uh, the Gators as well, a loss to LSU today. That's when the polls come out at noon tomorrow, 1 p.m. tomorrow. I expect to see our Knights ranked way ahead of anybody else in the state, not named South Florida or Miami. Uh, so that's... That's pretty amazing uh, to think that we've come that far. And, uh, you know, it's happened before, but it just feels different this time with Coach Frost than it did with Coach O'Leary. Um, so, guys, real impressed. We'll look forward next week to East Carolina, homecoming. Uh, another another uh, 1-0 and season for us to look forward to. Uh, East Carolina is going to... Come in and, and they'll, they'll challenge us. I think they will challenge us, but we're probably going to be big favorites again. Uh, UCF did cover the spread tonight, uh, and the game did get over the total, even in the only three quarters that were played. Uh, don't know if sportsbooks pay out on three quarters of action. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, so good luck if you bet on the game. 
Uh, I know one of my guys, Mr. UCF Problems, bet on the game tonight and uh, hope, hope they pay you out on Bavada. You'll have to let me know about that. Uh, but cool, so shout out to you guys that stayed up for the game tonight. It was one an exciting one to watch. It was You just couldn't wait for our offense to get on the field every time. I think I made a comment right around the middle of the second quarter. If we had... Uh, Cut Mac Loudermilk. Uh, he wasn't doing anything tonight. And even Mark Daniels said the same thing. He said he, said, uh, he hasn't done anything, well, except for hold, and he threw one incomplete pass. But, uh, yeah, no punting tonight for the punter. Uh, basically a whole night off uh, for him. So his leg will be fresh for next week, which hopefully we don't need to do next week either, Mac. Uh, great game, guys. Uh, man, and if you're an NFL scout and Shaquem Griffin's not on your, on your list, on your board, Man, you got to get him on there. What amazing pressure he put on the passer tonight. He was in the in the uh, Cincy backfield all game. Uh, really just making plays left and right. Great game, Shaquem. Uh, and uh, well, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to bed. It's it's after midnight. Daddy's tired. So uh, take care. Uh, we'll be in touch this week, and uh, we'll talk about East Carolina and. Uh, We'll look forward to a big homecoming win as well. Guys, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in to the Jason Vegas Show. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Love to see some more views on these videos. Go Knights. Charge on.